Hey everyone, I am Bryce, and today I am going to explain to you what is Salesforce and how it works. So make sure to stick around till the very end to completely understand how you can use Salesforce to easily handle customer relationships. Salesforce provides cloud-based tools and services, sales processes, and marketing efforts. It helps businesses keep track of their contacts, leads, and accounts in a centralized database. This includes information such as customer details, communication history, and any ongoing opportunities. So first thing, start by adding your contacts or accounts. For that, click on Accounts from the homepage. Then, click on New from your top right corner. So here, you guys can add a new contact by adding their information like account name, website, description, and other details. You guys can also add their contact details, billing, and shipping address. So once you are done, hit the save button to save this account. In this way, you can add multiple customer accounts or leads to follow. Once it is added, you can change multiple settings, for example, schedule a meeting or assign a new task for this newly added lead. Let us proceed with setting meeting availability. Now here, we have the calendar of whole week on which we can schedule the meeting depending on our availability time. Once the meeting details are entered, Salesforce allows you to send invitations to attendees. This can include email notifications with meeting details and calendar invites. The good thing is that Salesforce can integrate with popular email and calendar applications, ensuring that meeting details are synchronized across platforms and providing a unified view of your schedule. Now, as you guys can see, our first lead or customer account has been added. Similarly, you can create a list of contacts on this platform. By clicking on the new button, you will get to see this page. Here, you can add a contact name, account name, title, description, and other details. In the Reports to section, you can add a member of your organization who will follow up with a contact added. You can email, add, and manage multiple contacts on this page. By clicking on the Show All Activities button, your team will be able to see all of the meetings, calls, or tasks scheduled for this contact. From the right side, you can upload any document, pictures, videos, or other files for your contacts. So Salesforce is very useful for marketing automation as it enables businesses to create and manage marketing campaigns, track their effectiveness, and analyze customer responses. So from this section, you can manage sales opportunities and deals through Salesforce, tracking the progress of sales from the initial lead to the final closure. So you just need to fill in the necessary details, like a descriptive name for the opportunity, the account associated with this opportunity, the expected or target closing date for the opportunity, the stage in the sales process, and the potential review associated with the opportunity. Here, you can also add the status of the opportunity to see its progress stage. After saving, you can review the opportunity details and make any necessary updates. This includes updating the stage as the opportunity progresses through the sales pipeline. If you are working in a team, you can add team members who are involved in working on this opportunity. This could include sales representatives, managers, or any other stakeholders. Salesforce is also well known for integrating and managing email marketing campaigns. It offers various email templates by which you can create email lists for your contacts. By clicking on the new email template option, you will get this form that you need to fill out to add a new email template. On scrolling down, you will have the option to add message content to it. Once you're done, you just need to hit the save button and your email template is all set to be used. On the back end, you can add different related files linked to this campaign. Here, you will get to see several features for customer service and support, allowing businesses to track and manage customer inquiries, issues, and resolutions. So, go to Service and click on Cases. Click on New and then add complete details about the new case that you need to deal with. Fill in information like status, case origin, priority, case owner, subject, and description. In the calendar section, you can manage and access your schedule of meetings, calls, or events. You can also add a new event from here that you can share with the team. Just fill in the information like starting and ending date and time. Next, you can add people in the attendee section. Once you have saved it, you can easily see this event in your Salesforce calendar. 
Salesforce automatically logs the meeting as an activity in the associated records, providing a comprehensive view of interactions with a particular contact, account, or opportunity. After the meeting, you can log follow-up actions, update records, and track any outcomes or next steps discussed during the meeting. Here, you can access reports and dashboards to gain insights into your sales, marketing, and customer service activities. This helps in data-driven decision-making. Businesses of all sizes can choose Salesforce to improve their connections with customers and make their sales and marketing activities more efficient. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.